So today we were judging the AR Work Awards. Um, our judges today were Sanjay Puri and Manuel Gautran and John McCaslin, and they had a really vibrant debate about how we work now and how we need to work in the future. The projects were wonderful and varied, and uh, in many cases a, a you know, reinterpretation of what a traditional workspace or workplace is about. So I think the key thing is to be adaptable but providing a sense of community and identity. I mean that's what everybody wants from a workplace. We were inspired by the buildings and the projects uh, which were thinking about the context, the link between outside and inside, the way to embrace the landscape. Oh, the judging was, uh, it was very interesting. It was interesting in a number of ways. One is the range of projects and then uh, the different viewpoints that each one on the judging panel had. You know, we spend 80% of the time that we are awake in an office. So why should an office be so, you know, repetitive in character? So the thing is that an office space should not be repetitive in character because when you have a huge amount of repetition, there is a loss of identity. They had a really good debate. They settled on a few criteria. They did listen to each other. They came from very um, different perspectives, but in the end, they really fought to find a, a common set of values on which they could judge it. And these four projects that they've asked us to go and have a closer look at share this criteria that they'd selected. And it'll be interesting to see when we go and visit these projects, which one comes to the top. Well, the giant desk is brilliant because you know this is quite a this is about a twenty thousand square foot workspace. Uh, I think it's something like one hundred and seventy five people working in it, so it's quite dense, but yet it doesn't feel dense, and it's achieved by this wonderful ribbon. I think it's an amazing project because um, there is a question of refurbishing a building in a very uh, innovative way and unexpected way. It kind of looks like a really fun place to work in, you know. So I think as an interior, it's a really interesting interior, done with a you know, very limited palette, which is what is important. So it almost creates, you know, a sculptural space all through. I liked a lot the feeling precisely of intimacy that uh, it seems to, to have, the link between the outside and inside, the way to use natural light. It's very poetic and even if it's a small scale office, it gives a feeling of, I think, community. It's a beautiful small office. I mean, one would think that this is a bungalow, really speaking, it doesn't even look like an office building. And neither do the internal spaces feel that you've actually entered an office space. And that's the whole beauty of this. I like this one very much. I mean, he's very, um, I think, courageous, the fact that the building is folded. And the folds uh, gives a lot of visual links between offices. In this case, what the building does is it just snakes around, so it becomes interesting, the whole street that is created in the entire office building. For me, anyway, it's a sort of political statement that says that this is the way that banks need to behave and operate to give you a sense of that they care for you as a customer rather than you know, care for themselves. The nicest thing about this project is that it's got this huge scale, but the architect has hidden the entire office under earth mounds. And it's very interesting because it's a way to give a piece of garden to each level of working places. It's very green, I think it's got all sorts of complexities which are make it quite a dynamic an unusual big building. So now we're going to take these four projects that the judges have selected from over 100 entries and we're going to send photographers and an expert critic to visit the works to report back to the judges on what they think of these projects and then the judges are going to take a vote and then we'll know who the winner of AR work is.